remember that? Comes a one-two pitch. Red Sox win the World Series! Remember that as well? Alex Cora, a proud Puerto Rican and World Series winning manager, the fifth to do so and win the title in their debut season, returned the trophy to his homeland, a territory of the United States. That, after disaster, struck Puerto Rico. And the president touting his administration and relief efforts. Puerto Rico has been taken care of better by Donald Trump than by any living human being. Which, of course, we all know is false. Donald Trump waited two weeks to visit the island, ravaged by Hurricane Maria. He even noted to GOP senators that Texas, also battered by a spat of hurricanes, was awarded $29 billion in aid, while South Carolina got $1.5 billion to recover from storms. Trump then questioned why Puerto Rico was getting $91 billion. Trump remarked that one could buy Puerto Rico four times over for $91 billion, which was debunked in 13 seconds. Giving Puerto Rico $91 billion is totally false. In fact, uh, uh, FEMA has $20 million there, and they've only allotted for spending $1.5 billion. Trump said the deaths were incomparable to other storms. If you look at a real catastrophe like Katrina, 16 people versus in the thousands, uh, you can be very proud. Then on Twitter, the attacks came. He wrote the death toll went from 16 people losing their lives in a Category 5 storm to 64 total deaths in Puerto Rico. A George Washington study refuted that number, concluding almost 3,000 people died. Harvard's evaluation was 4,645. On Twitter, he called Mayor Carmen Yulin a poor leader and a politically motivated ingrate which she took none of on national television. The president continues to show that he's a bully. He continues to show that he's a racist, and he continues to show that he does not get it. Furthermore, he called the people of Puerto Rico lazy, writing, they want everything done for them. For those reasons and more, Alex Coro wrote in El Nuevo Dia, I've used my voice on many occasions so that Puerto Ricans are not forgotten, and my absence from the White House is no different. As such, at this moment, I don't feel comfortable celebrating in the White House. Puerto Rico is very important to me. Unfortunately, we are still struggling, still fighting. Some people still lack basic necessities. Others remain without electricity, and many homes and schools are in pretty bad shape almost a year and a half after Hurricane Maria struck. You see, Cora doesn't need your Happy Meals and Big Mac handouts like Trump has done repeatedly. He wants change. He wants action. Relief is what his people need. United States citizens who have been left with nothing because of the backturning by a racist administration that empowers white supremacy and does not match relief of red states because those in need are not white. Alex Cora is the manager of the Boston Red Sox, where Yawkey Way, the road adjacent to Fenway, was still commemorating the racist owner's name until a council meeting was held to change the name Last year, standing up for what he believes in, refusing to shake the hand of a man who did not extend the olive branch to help the helpless, this takes guts, and Alex Cora did it. Whatever season it may be, there is a racist predator who lives in the White House. Until change is made, the consistency will lie within sports figures taking action and using their platform to raise awareness on the injustices taking place, not just stateside, but beyond.